Representatives from some 40 groups gathered outside the White House to protest the death sentence hanging over a young Christian woman in Sudan. Senator Ted Cruz was there to point out Miriam Ibrahim has been sentenced to die because this daughter of a Muslim is herself a practicing Christian. Very simply, the fact that she is a Christian, that she attends a local Catholic church, is deemed a crime there, and for that crime, she has been sentenced to 100 lashes and then to hang by the neck till dead. Miriam's young son is imprisoned with her, as is her newborn baby. Some of the protesters wore red links as they marched and demonstrated. These represent the chains that Miriam Abraham has been wearing since she was imprisoned in Sudan. She actually was forced to give birth while wearing them, and so we wanted to wear them today in solidarity with our Christian sister, who was imprisoned only because of her faith. Miriam's married to an American citizen, making her children eligible to be American citizens. That's one of the reasons the protesters can't believe the American president has been silent about what's happening to Miriam and her children. These demonstrators are saying there's little downside to the White House taking action. President Obama, with just a few words, could have a big effect on Miriam's fate at very little cost to himself. In fact, the only cost might be a little loss of prestige if the tin pot dictatorship of Sudan ignores the president. But the protesters say the situation's so dire, that's a risk well worth taking. The White House has been silent on Miriam and her two children that have been in a Sudanese prison for months, a prison that is deadly. Uh, this time of year, one infant a day dies, and Miriam is in there with a 20-month-old and now one that's about two weeks old. What the government of Sudan is proposing to do to this young mother is grotesque, it is immoral, it is horrendous, it is wrong, and we should speak out when, with one voice in unison to free Miriam Ibrahim. Paul Strand, CBN News, the White House.